So the reason I'm making this video is because it's really hard to figure out the correct finger tricks for U-perms, and by correct, I just mean one that makes it so that it flows really, really fast. So keep in mind that these aren't the only ways to do the finger tricks, but I will be showing a few ways that I think are really fast. All right, so here we have the UA permutation with a solve block at the back. So it goes like this. You could also replace this move uh, with pushing at the back here. That also works as long as you're doing it with your left hand. So now faster. All right, now we have the UA permutation again, but this time the block is at the front and how you can do it is like this. So again, it's important to be able to do this move, which you can also do as this, just like before, as long as you're doing it with your left hand. So now again, faster. All right, now we have the UB permutation. So the cycle goes this way and the block is at the back. So this algorithm goes like this. And this U move like this can be replaced by pushing on the back as long as you're doing it with your left hand so you can regrip with your right hand at the same time. So faster. All right, now we have UB permutation with a block at the front. So this one goes like this. Watch my right thumb as I do this algorithm. So it's important that instead of doing full hand R prime turns, you just push with your thumb at the end because you won't be able to keep your other fingers on the cube. So again, like this. All right, now faster. All right, so another thing people like to do is instead of dragging their thumb to do R prime, you can avoid a regrip there by doing R3 instead. So it goes like this. So R3 here, and then you can avoid regrips completely. All right, so now faster. Now it's also really important to be able to do this so that you can do AUF or adjust U face at the end, which is when you finish doing your PLL and then you need to adjust the U layer in order to finish the solve. All right, so here's an example. We have U A perm here and the block is at the back. And then afterwards we'll have to do a U move in order to finish off the solve. So you can do it like this. And then afterwards, your right hand will not be in position to do U because you'll have to regrip to do U. So then instead, you can just do this at the end. So here it is again, and you would do it like this. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you all next time.